Howdy. So today I'm going to read Mosiah chapter 16. And before I begin, I'd like to invite you to hit pause and say a prayer and ask for discernment so you can get it as we're supposed to. If you want to follow along online, there's a link in the description where you can do that. If you want to get your own physical copy of the Book of Mormon, I don't have the one I normally show you on me, but one similar to this. There's a link in the description you can follow to request one from the church. If you'd rather get one from me, then you can do that by sending an email to thetruthaboutwaffles at gmail.com with all your information. And if I send you one, I will put my testimony on this blank part. Well, on this one it's not totally blank, but I'll find a blank page. And, uh, yeah, I'll put my testimony in there. Let's see. What else? There's links in the description you can use, or you can follow, to download the Gospel Library app for your Android, iOS, or Windows device. Um, hit pause and write down questions or things that are, impress you, or, I don't know, just touch your heart um, as I read. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, here we go. Mosiah chapter 16. And now it came to pass that after Abinadi had spoken these words, he stretched forth his hand and said, The time shall come when all shall see the salvation of the Lord, when every nation, kindred, tongue, and people shall see eye to eye, and shall confess before God that his judgments are just. And then shall the wicked be cast out, and they shall have cause to howl and weep and wail and gnash their teeth, and this because they would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Therefore the Lord redeemeth them not. For they are carnal and devilish, and the devil has power over them. Yea, even that old serpent that did beguile our first parents, which was the cause of their fall, which was the cause of all mankind becoming carnal, sensual, devilish, knowing evil from good, subjecting themselves to the devil. Thus all mankind were lost, and behold, they would have been endlessly lost, were it not that God redeemed his people from their lost and fallen state. But remember that he that persists in his own carnal nature and goes on in the ways of sin and rebellion against God remaineth in his fallen state, and the devil hath all power over him. Therefore he is as though there was no redemption made, being an enemy to God, and also is the devil also is the devil an enemy of, to God. And now, if Christ had not come into the world, speaking of things to come, as though they had already come, there could have been no redemption. And if Christ had not risen from the dead, or have broken the bands of death, that the grave should have no victory, and that death should have no sting, there could have been no resurrection. But there is a resurrection. Therefore, the grave hath no victory, and the sting of death is swallowed up in Christ. He is the light and the life of the world. Yea, a light that is endless, that can never be darkened. Yea, and also a life which is endless, and there can be no more death. Even this mortal shall put on immortality, and this corruption shall put on incorruption, and shall be brought to stand before the bar of God, to be judged of him according to their works, whether they be good or whether they be evil. If they be good to the resurrection of endless life, and happiness, oh, and happiness, and if they be evil, to the resurrection of endless damnation, being delivered up to the devil, who hath subjected them, which is damnation. Having gone, having gone according to their own carnal wills and desires, having never called upon the Lord while the arms of mercy were extended towards them. For the arms of mercy were extended towards them, and they would not. They, being warned of their iniquities, and yet they would not depart from them. And they were commanded to repent, yet they would not repent. And now... Ought ye not to tremble and repent of your sins, and remember that only in, in and through Christ ye can be saved? Therefore, if ye teach the law of Moses, also teach that it is a shadow of those things which are to come. Teach them that redemption cometh through Christ the Lord, who is the very eternal Father. Amen. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, quick note, update, I guess, on my life. Uh, today was the last day of the semester. So the next six weeks I have free to do whatever I want. There's no restrictions of scholarly responsibilities. So I promise there will definitely be new content uh, 
beyond reading. And I know I promised you, or I offered a ghosting video, or a video about ghosting. I haven't posted that yet, but I will. And yeah, that's it. So tune in next week or whenever. And yeah, later.